Okay, hello everyone. Ah, yes, it's that time in the month again. My Ratchet Game Box has arrived. And of course, I should be uh, turning in any other pickups I found in the month. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I'm a bit scruffy. Just uh, been too lazy to have a shave lately, and of course, I'm, I'm going to be having a haircut soon. So, some of my appearance isn't as good as you think it is. <laughs> but yeah, it has arrived. Right, I did get the dispatch email for this, uh, this time around for this one. So, uh, yeah. So here it is, my Retro Game Box for uh, September. So anyway, right, without further ado, let's just uh, let's open the box. So I have the scissors here, so let's open this up. Right, okay. This one actually feels, this box actually feels quite heavy. So uh, I'm very interested to see what's in here. So, okay, right, uh, oh, right, okay. Cut the uh, cellar tape off. Right, so I've got the box. Once again, like, uh, like last time, I'm going to turn it round, so it's like that, and I'm going to open the box. And I'm not going to have a look because because um, I want the element of surprise. So okay, right, let's take a feel on here. Right, um, now actually, actually, too fair. There's one thing um, I actually do know. One of the games I should be getting in here, um, and that is uh, it's a game that I bought from the console shop. I actually, I actually did use my 15% uh, code on it. Uh, they have actually introduced some of the codes now that you can use, which I'll explain to uh, later. So right, okay, right. Uh, this one, it feels. This one feels like a PlayStation game. Uh, so it is. Ah, oh, there we go. It is Exhumed. This is the game that I did order from the shop. Uh, this was eight pounds, but with my code, it was just to six pound eighty. Uh, now the things that obviously they do some sell some games on their website, but the ones that they mainly sell are the ones that they don't normally ship out in boxes either because uh, problems maybe perhaps you need a peripheral to play the game like, like say for example Mario Paint you need the mouse or if it's a light gun game or something like that uh, and any game which requires a peripheral uh, sometimes it, it could be because it's an import game uh, it could be a Japanese game something like that they do, they do sell um, Japanese import games or sometimes there might be issues with the condition in which case uh, this one's got a condition issue uh, not as too bad actually, but, it's a bit, uh, but basically, yeah, it's got a few heroin cracks oh, and the manual's just fallen out. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's boxed with the manual and stuff, however, it's missing the front cover artwork, which I'm not too fussed. So, uh, yeah, and the reason, reason I bought this is because I heard it's, I've actually heard this is quite good. Um, I'm actually don't mind the old, the old style first person shooters. Not really massively into first person shooters nowadays because there's a whole load of them and a lot of them are a bit crap to be honest with you. So, uh, there's the disc, and the disc is in. Yeah, pretty. Actually, not bad. <laughs> not bad at all for its age. Pretty good. Um, pretty good. But yeah. Um, so yeah. So it's it mainly. I think the reason why they put it on the shop is this point because it, it was missing the front inlay, and uh, the case isn't in exactly. In, well, it's not. I've I've had worse condition boxes. I've had some boxes that have been like smashed. So, um, I've had to put them in replacement boxes, and, uh, and this one at least has got the hinges. So, um, but yeah, so apart from that, so yeah, uh, exhumed. So, be willing to uh, give that a go at some point. So, there you go. And right, now, onto the actual games I don't know what I'm getting. Right, this one feels, this one's another DVD case, so it's not be another PS2 game. We have, uh, okay, Scooby Doo, Night of 100 Frights. Don't know if this one's any good. Um, I did get, a, um, I did get a Scooby Doo game for the Game Boy Advance from March Game Box. Well, actually, it was till one cartridge. And okay, I suppose this one might be worth. It might be worth checking out. It might be a bag. It might be something good. It might be bad. I don't know. I, I don't mind playing the old sort of bad game every now and then. But this one feels quite heavy. So it's probably got the book in it. Yeah, it's got the manual. A bit, a bit crisp at the top, but not too bad. So there you go, and so there's your disc, what's this like? Nice and clean, very good. So, not bad condition, but pretty good condition. So, yeah, uh, Scooby-Doo, Night of 100 Fights. Okay, right, the next one is, this one's definitely Mega Drive or Master System. I can definitely tell, it's a plastic case. It's Mega Drive and it's Tasmania. And this one is, box in the cartridge, no manual, but apart from that, now this is a game I've been interested in getting for some time now. It's like a sort of like a cartoony sort of platform game, and uh, condition-wise, obviously 
missing the tab at the top, but I, I don't care much for the tabs to make your games. I find them really annoying actually. And uh, I, I'm not too fussed that it comes that it doesn't come with a manual. I've got the game, so uh, it's it's an okay car, just maybe a bit, a bit dirty on the outside, but. Uh, with March Gamebox, they do actually clean the they do actually clean the the contacts on them. So uh, yeah, not bad. So uh, uh, that'll be a laugh. So this be uh, this be uh, good fun to have a go at. And the next one is right. This is definitely a Game Gear game. And this one is Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Now I'll be interested to give this one a go. It's by US Gold. <laughs> um, I did have Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade on the Mega Drive years ago, but. I got shot of it quite a while back, so, uh, uh, but yeah, Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade. Right, and then, right, there's a few more here. Uh, this is another PS2 game by Alex Fitz. We have uh, Ed, Ed and Eddie, The Misadventures. Now, I've never really watched the cartoon, but I do I do know of it. Um, so this one, um, this one should be a bit of a laugh. Um, I've perhaps met, I don't know. So uh, this one, good. This one is well, the manual's a bit, bit uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit worn, a uh, bit torn at the front there. Um, the disc is uh, not bad actually. Look, a few scratches, but not bad. I've seen far worse games. Uh, games there. The manual's unfortunately is a little bit damaged. It's a bit of a shame. Uh, but hey, it's got its manual. So <laughs> yeah. So Ed, Ed and Nelly, the mis the misadventures. No idea if this one's any good. It's just by, by midway, so um, this one should be good. This was made in 2005. So, yeah, likewise, I'd never seen the cartoon, but I think the problem is the cartoon was after my time, shall I say. But nevertheless, it could still be a laugh. I, I still like watching Cartoon Network a lot back in the day, so. Right, right open the box again, and. Uh, another PlayStation 2 game in there. Not PS2 games this month. Uh, right, and we have Worms Blast. Now this one there should be quite good fun. Uh, this one, I think this looks like, this looks like a Buster Move uh, puzzle bubble type clone thing. And but, hmm, inter interesting. Um, I'm not too familiar with this particular Worms tile. Obviously, um, obviously I know all the other Worms games, and the, the other Worms games are ex you know are excellent. So, uh, right, so that one should be good. And uh, oh, there's one more game in there, and it's Game Gear. Uh, I think. Oh no, it's Game Game Boy Color actually. Uh, Rugrats in Paris, the movie. So uh, yeah, uh, I, love, I do love the Rugrats. So <laughs> yeah, so uh, once again, interested to give this one a go. It might be good, might be bad, but it's the Rugrats. So, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, a lot of lot of very cartoon based ones. And is that it? Oh no, there's a Game Boy Advance game in there actually. One more game. Ah, Thunder. We have. Ugh, sorry, we have Thunderbirds International Rescue. Now, I do have a Thunderbirds game for the Game Boy Color, and it's not bad actually. And uh, it's it's quite a good, uh, quite a good game technically in terms of the graphics and all that. So yeah. Yeah, so yeah, very hard. And I do like, I do actually do like a bit of Thunderbirds. So um, I've never, I've actually got the complete series up there, but I've never actually sat down and watched, uh, watched it all. So, anyway, I think uh, that is it. So there you go. That is, um, that is my games for this month. So once again, quite a few games. Uh, not PS2 ones. <laughs> well, three PS2 games to be precise. Um, yeah, so quite a few. And of course, I've got the. Um, uh, the game I bought from the shop as well. Right, so for reminders, we have Thunderbirds International Rescue for the Game Boy Advance, uh, Rugrats in Paris for the Game Boy Color, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade for the Sega Game Gear, uh, Worms Blast for the PlayStation 2, Ed, Ed and Eddie The Misadventures for the PlayStation 2, uh, Scooby Doo Night of 100 Fights for the PlayStation 2, <laughs> And Tasmania for the Mega Drive. So yeah, not too bad. Oh yeah, and of course, X Zooms for the PlayStation. So uh, yeah, so in total, uh, obviously with so in total that's that's uh, seven games uh, in this month's box. Without this, uh, but because of this, is eight games. So this actually rivals the um, the amount of games I got in my box for April, which uh, had eight games. So yeah, so yeah, there might not be. I mean, the, the three PS2 games. Might not be the absolute, might not be uh, you know the absolute classics, you know, 
they might, but they might still be a bit of a laugh. And like I said, and I did specify I do like cartoon games. And uh, and well, worms obviously I'm familiar with, you know, from the start. It's worms, you know, I do like a bit of worms. But this one, this one's interesting in the fact it looks like a, uh, like a puzzle bubble type clone because you've got like cannons and uh, stuff and things. So it'd be interesting to give that a go. I can't remember if I've actually got this on the PC or not. I'd have to uh, check because I know I've got a load of worms games on the PC with my Steam account. So yeah, so that is my Retro Game Box. So yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. I mean, obviously, particularly with. Um, I think I think my pick of the month, maybe perhaps. I think obviously obviously excluding X soon because I knew I was I knew I was going to get X soon. Um, hmm, interesting, interesting. Maybe Tasmania for the Mega Drive. Probably because I'm, I'm fond of my old Mega Drive games. So there you go. So, right. That's enough of that. So that is my box for this month for the March game box. So eight games in the box. Um, not too bad at all. But, so I shall uh, definitely give those a. Uh, there's a playthrough and jump cut haha <laughs> yes sorry about that guys uh, obviously it's quite a bit later now than what it was uh, when I first record, started recording but unfortunately uh, my dinner was ready and I had to obviously go down and eat it so right okay, okay so that was my retro game box uh, obviously if you want to uh, if you're interested in getting your own click the link uh, down below they actually um, did upgrade their uh, preferences. I have to sign up to them again. They, they've changed their system now, and I've got to re-sign up if I want to continue, which I do. So because it's worth the money. Money. And uh, now, now, like I said earlier, they um, have actually, as well as when you get your box, uh, box they now do. Um, well, they now do. Uh, they now do small boxes for ten pounds, uh, pounds, or you can have a big box for fifty pounds. Now. Uh, or you can have the one the box I get, which is the medium-sized one, which is about twenty pounds, plus the postage that you choose. And um, and what they've actually um, and what and also if, if you do subscribe and you subscribe and get the least the medium box, uh, you'll be entitled to a discount from their console shop uh, shop where they, they sell various consoles and stuff like that. Pretty good prices actually, not too bad. And they also do a couple of games. They also sell games on there which they wouldn't send out in their boxes. Obviously, we for uh, like next soon. So I went, that was one game I bought from the shop. And uh, now, now, um, now, as well as giving you 50% discount nowadays, uh, they also give they now also give you what's called uh, include codes, uh, which basically means that it, which basically means that um, you can if you want to get something from your if you want to get something in your you know if you want to buy something from the shop but you don't want to pay extra. You can essentially pay with games from your box. You know what I mean? It's like um, I think there's one where it's like you get all your games free up, free up to twenty five pounds. Uh, any games you get from the shop are free, uh, free. But they replace games in your box, box. And then there's uh, there's one where you can get like a half box as well. And then there's uh, one where and then there's one where it's like you can get like twenty five pounds worth of stuff in the shop instead of your usual box. Uh, they'll explain it in more better detail than I can. Uh, than I just done. They, they explain it in better detail on their website. So once again, go and check them out. Link is down below. So right, okay. So yep. So once again, thank you very much to March Game Box to send me that lovely little bunch of games. Right, okay. On to the um, pickups. Right. <laughs> okay. The first one. I thought I'd get this one over and done with and out of the way. Uh, I know a couple of friends of mine. A couple of friends of mine now got this, but. Um, if you're familiar with uh, Classic Game Room, uh, the guy, uh, they got one of the guys uh, there, Mark, uh, from Classic Game Room. This is a game he absolutely loves, and I've, and it's very rare to see a video that he does where he actually doesn't mention this game. Game, but we have Truxton for the uh, Sega Mega Drive. <laughs> yes, I finally managed to get this for a very good price because uh, it's actually quite an expensive game. Uh, you, usually you're looking at about 25, 30 pounds for the box, but uh, I just happened. It just happened by. I managed to get this just simply by pure chance of eBay. Uh, so I was just browsing through, and someone was selling this for 20 pounds, pounds, and for a box copy, you know, to get a box copy, box copy of trucks for 20 pounds. That's very good. That's very good. Very good price to pay. In fact, uh, this was actually cheaper than getting a loose cartridge. So yeah, the the uh, the next yeah the next. Um, yeah, the cheapest loose cartridge they had was twenty-two pounds fifty, where or or you could get a box one for twenty quid. So, right, okay, this one, yeah, no manual, but it does come with the cartridge. 
uh, and it does play really well. And it's a da and if you never heard of Truxton, it's a really good shoot em up. Really worth it. if you love your shoot if you love your shoot ups, it's very good, very worth well checking out. It's also on the arcade as well, so, uh, so you can play it on the main as well if you want to. Uh, it was also on the PC Engine as well, you know, under its original Japanese name, which is Tatsujin. Uh, but yeah, the Mega Drive, I think the Mega Drive one's more common. Uh, but yeah, very good shoot, like, very good fun. So, right, okay, right. Now on to some uh, PS2 releases. Sorry about that, my phone just went off. <laughs> right, um, I shall check that in a minute, it's probably an email. But, right, okay, so I've, I've picked up some PS2 games from the charity shop. Uh, well, several charity shops actually, not all from the same one. Um, okay, the first game, first game we've got here is uh, Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. I did actually have this at some point, but I don't know where it's gone. I think my brother's got it actually. Uh, but this is the uh, platinum version of the game. Uh, I don't care if it's platinum or not really. It doesn't really matter, I just want to play the game. Uh, you've got the manual and the disc in there as well. And the disc is in pretty good shape. Yep. Uh, we have uh, the original Max Payne. Uh, once again, platinum release. But to me, it doesn't matter. It comes with the manual and the disc, of course. And the disc itself is in pretty good condition as well. Oh. And yeah, those, these are about £2 each. So I thought, I'm not going to. So I thought, I'm not. Ugh. So I thought, yeah, I'm definitely going to get these. Uh, two quid each. All right, next one was a bit more expensive. This one cost me four pound fifty from uh, a charity shop in Littlehampton, which I went to uh, a couple of weeks ago. Very nice place there, actually. Uh, place, but yeah, one of the charity shops uh, had this game. Now, this is a bit. Now, this is strange because normally charity shops don't always usually sell these type of games. Most of the charity shops are going to it all. Whenever they, you see a PS2 game, it's usually either like a sports title or it's like a, a dance game or something, you know, or like, you know, like party. It's either, it's either party games or sports games. Uh, but I've actually managed to pick up for £4.50 uh, an RP, JRPG sort of style game. But uh, here we have is Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life Special Edition. Well, it's, it's sort of an RPG slash farming simulator. Yes, uh, yeah, it's 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 a farm, it's a farming simulator with, with, with a bit of a JRPG sort of twist to it, Japanese characters and all that stuff. And uh, from what I've heard, from what I heard, these are very good, and I've been wanting to give these ones a go. I haven't played this one very much. From what I have played of it, it's actually not bad, not that bad so far. Uh, this actually, this actually did, this particular version of Harvest Moon actually did appear on the GameCube first, and then they ported it to the PS2 with a few extra features, hence the uh, special edition that you see there. Um, yeah, so this one, the box itself isn't in great, isn't in the best of shape. Um, the, the box itself is a little bit dirty. I can see some sticky residue on it as well, and and there is actually um, a bit of a crack in the case there. And to open the box, uh, there's no manual, but the uh, disc itself. Um, well, I can get the disc out. <laughs> the disc itself is quite a bit scratched. Uh, obviously, you probably can't tell in the video there, but yeah, it's, I, I can see there's there's a few like, scratch marks on it and stuff. But I've, like, likewise, I said I have played this; it does work. So that is it. Harvest Moon: A Wonderful Life Special Edition. Right so now, right now, on to the uh, Super Nintendo related stuff now. Uh, not the um, uh, well. Well, first off, I'll, I'll show you two games that I did uh, buy on eBay. Uh, these are actually well, not Super Nintendo as such, but they are Super Famicom games. And the games we have here are Super Wagyan Land <laughs> and Wagyan Paradise. Yes, I've been there wanting to get into playing the, the Wagyan series of games um, because they're very interesting. They're very interesting because one, not only did they never, see, not only was this a game series that never saw release outside of Japan, uh, but the interesting thing with these. Is that they're not actually games as such. They're actually uh, educational games <laughs> aimed at uh, young Japanese children. And uh, when first when you when you play them, they play like a standard like cutesy uh, 2D platform game sort of thing. And uh, but the twist is is when you come to the boss battles, instead of having to fight them and beat them to death and shoot them, shoot them and kill them and stuff, they they actually challenge you to a little mini game. 
and uh, um, quite and quite a few of the mini games are word based. So you're probably thinking, why the hell did I get, you know, did I buy these games then? Well, the thing is, because they're education titles, the word games aren't actually that hard. Oh, especially, and they're very good if you're actually wanting to learn Japanese. Um, it might, I would, I'd probably say that they, they can be a bit. I'd probably say that the word games might be a bit frustrating for some people. Uh, but if you're looking to learn Japanese or brush up on them, uh, yeah, these games are well worth it. Especially if you love um, 2D, uh, you know, colourful 2D, cutesy 2D platformers, which. As you can tell, I do. I love them. So, and the reason I got these boxes and complete because I love getting Japanese games completing their boxes, and we shall. I shall show you why. Uh, first up, oh, no, this is the one I want. First up, well, I'll show you this one. This is the. This is probably. This, I'll tell you out of the two of these. Um, I'd probably say this one, uh, Wagon and Paradise, is the better game. And my guys, the box art is beautiful. Uh, yeah. There's all the kanji and stuff and things that you can't read. <laughs> read. And I love how on the back uh, it's actually got uh, a little comic strip at the back there explaining the story. And which I think is pretty cool actually. I think it's really good. A really good idea. I think it's a really good idea. And the artwork on it is brilliant. Fantastic. So let's open the box. Yeah, Super Famicom games open at the top. So let's open it up, and so you have a plastic holder, which is much better than the uh, cardboard ones you get in the uh, American and European releases. So there's your cartridge holder. Uh, you also get um, uh, there's the cartridge. So well. beautiful label, love the label on this one. And and of course you have the manual. The manual for this is a little bit tacky, I'm afraid, at the bottom there. Uh, as you can see, it's a bit creased and whatnot, but. Just look at the, just look at the colourful manual, the artwork and stuff and things. There we go. There's a little bit there. Oh yes, the art, the artwork on this is really, is really quite cute. And yeah, there's a map and there as well of Wagyan World. Oh, so, right. So let's go to the front there. And there's a lovely, cute picture there as well. So yeah, the um, yeah, the the artwork on this is, the artwork in this manual is is fantastic. It's worth getting Japanese manuals just to admire the artwork. So, right. So, okay. So, that's Wagon Paradise. And, of course, um, uh, Super, uh, Super Wagon Land is pretty much the same thing. Let's just take a look. This one does actually have a bit of a cracked uh, inlay, unfortunately. Uh, like that. It's a bit of a shame. The manual's in quite a nice condition, over its age. Here's the manual. So again, there's the front cover artwork. And let's uh, go to the front. Yeah, there's uh, some nice artwork here. So, yeah, and <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, art, the artwork in this is, is just top notch. <laughs> so cute. So, anyway, so that is the that was Super Wagyu Lands, and oh, yeah, yeah, and there's the uh, cartridge there as well. Right. So okay. So that's that. So those are the uh, two Super Famicom games I bought. So yeah, very very happy to um, have these. I think I paid for the two of them. It's twenty five pounds, which is uh, pretty good actually. It makes them about twelve pounds a uh, game. They're actually not that expensive, probably because, uh, like I said, you do need. It helps to know a little bit of Japanese, but not a huge amount. And it's very good if you're actually wanting to learn a little bit of Japanese. So. Put these boxes. Let's put these away. So there you go. Right. So there the games are purchased. Right. Okay. So right. The next. Uh, right. I've right, got a bag here. Uh, actually, no, two bags. Are they? Of stuff. And these are full of Super Nintendo games, which my brother has kindly loaned to me. Uh, they're still his games, uh, and I don't actually own them. Uh, but I thought I'd just go through what games, uh, what games he had because it's got quite an impressive collection actually. Uh, 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 but anyway, well, actually, first off, before I get onto the games, two bits of hardware he's given me for the Super Nintendo. One is uh, a bit of hardware that I've been after for so long. Super Game Boy. <laughs> yes, 
this does actually work, I've tried it. Uh, I've actually played BR Fighter Deluxe in this, and the good news is that BR Fighter Deluxe actually does work in the Super Game Boy. Because if you watch my review of BR Fighter Deluxe, um, which I uploaded not so long ago, uh, you may remember that I there was a, that unfortunately there was a few compatibility issues running on the Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance. So, but it plays well on the Super Game Boy. So, there you go. And that's a great bit of kit as well. Well, and the last thing we have is this this beast, the Super Advantage uh, joystick from ASCIiWare. Uh, it's, it's an official joy, uh, joypad, that's it's by Nintendo. But uh, yeah, I'm going to do a full, uh, a much. I'm, I'm going to do another a proper video on this one. So, I'll, so I'm not going to go into any. I'm not going to show you how it works. You have to uh, wait until I do that video to find out what this thing is like to use. So okay, I'll just put that there. Right now, on to the games. <laughs> right now, there's quite a lot of games in there. So I'm not going to show any footage or anything like that. I'm just basically going to, I'm just going to basically go show you a cartridge and say what it is, and then just pull it back down. So yeah, uh, remember these are just games that, are, that I'm basically borrowing from my brother because he he just basically didn't want to part with them because the, the thing is he's got his, he's still got his old Super Nintendo from back in the day, but he's he's working that you know, he's working man now and he's got. Uh, wife and the kids and all that. He just hasn't got the time to play the games anymore. But um, at the same time, he didn't want to let them go. But since he knew I bought snares, he said um, he, he said I might as well look after them, give them a playthrough and all that things because he knows that I've got the time to play them. So right, okay. So the games we have here are Donkey Kong Country, Sim City 2000. Equinox, Super Star Wars, Vortex, Super Bomberman 2, Flashback, Cannon Fodder, Smash TV, Theme Park, Super Empire Strikes Back, Ren and Stimpy Vidiots, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Well, actually, yeah, actually, it's not Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, is it? It's the Street Fighter 2 Turbo. <laughs> right, um, Star Trek The Next Generation Super Off-Road FIFA International Soccer Alien and Free Top Gear Jurassic Park, Lamborghini American Challenge, Pushover, Primal Rage, Pack Attack, Super Mario Kart, Draken Mickey Mania Spin Dizzy GP1 Super Ghouls and Ghosts Stunt Race Effects Doom, International Superstar Soccer, Star Trek Starfleet Academy, Donkey Kong Country 3, uh, 
Uh, it's Donkey Kong Country 2 there as well. That's all the Donkey Kong Country games. Uh, the Lord of the Rings. Yes, they did actually do a SNES RPG on uh, J.R. Tolkien's work. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, cool Spot. Pierre Le Chef is, is out to lunch. I remember playing the Amiga version of that years ago. Uh, Pilot Wings. Super R Type. Another world. Right, so now there's two games. There's two games left. I left the two, the two very best games to last. Uh, absolutely brilliant games. These. Uh, the Legend of Zelda: A Link to the Past. Classic game. And the last one is probably one of my favourite Super Nintendo games of all time. It is an absolute classic. Super Mario Land 2: Yoshi's Island. This game is brilliant. Fantastic. Um, very tough to actually, well, I, okay, I don't own it, but I'm actually chuffed to have the SNES cartridge in my hands. So, right, so that is one bag full. There is another bag here, but it's it's basically got games in there which uh, either I can't play or or I already own. So, these are games, so, but these are the cartridges I tried to, to, tried to give me, but I've had to unfortunately uh, turn them down. Uh, first off, right, the only box game. This, like, this is the only box game it's given me. I can't play this because it needs the scope. Uh, Battle Clash. Now the reason why um, I can't play scope games is because one, obviously, I don't have an internet scope gun, and secondly, I can't play the scope gun because unfortunately I don't have a fully working CRT television anymore. Uh, we did. We used to have one up in the loft where uh, loft until three, three, yeah, until a few. Uh, a few weeks back when we tried to get it down and see if it works with the old uh, ZX Spectrum because um, I thought about using it as a monitor but it only had RF input and the volume knob was the volume knob's gone off it and whatnot of things so uh, so we had to throw away so unfortunately I don't have a fully working CRT television anymore to play Scope games so right so Battle Clash um, and there's the other Scope games well the Nintendo Scope 6 so it's a bit of a shame but uh, the other games, the other cards she's tried to give me, but obviously I've already got them, are uh, SimCity, uh, Super Mario World, uh, Super Mario All Stars, and the last one here, which is Star Wing. So, okay. So, those will be going back to him, but the other games I'll be keeping until I get uh, my own copies. So, I've not put them on my Vice Much Game Box preferences or anything like that. So, uh, anyway. So anyway, my, <coughs> my throat's uh, drying up now, all that talking. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. I uh, should be hopefully getting some more videos up and running soon. Um, I was actually, um, I did actually um, hit a bit of snag, unfortunately, with doing my, recording my gameplay videos, because uh, usually when I do my gameplay videos, I usually do the commentary live with a headset. Unfortunately, uh, my headset started to give up the ghost the microphone no longer works. So I'm having to use a very, very cheap headset at the moment until I can find the documentation for this and hopefully get it sorted for warranty. Because I only had this for a couple of months. So I'll do that or I'll just get a new one. <laughs> right. Okay, so I've got all these snows going on the floor now, so I need to go and tidy and tie them all up. So anyway, uh, that's enough of me waffling on. I shall be back in soon with another video and in the meantime, goodbye for now.